I often paint on flat panels for plein air paintings, but I also paint on cradled panels. In this video, I'll discuss the different benefits of using a cradled panel. In case you're wondering, a cradled panel is a wood panel that has wood bracing on the back. Ampersand makes them with different thicknesses. Both this 9x12 and the 6x6 gesso board have a 3 quarter inch cradle, but they also make them an inch and a half and two inches. So the most obvious benefit to using a cradled panel is that they're stronger. So if you like to work on a large scale, you don't have to worry about it warping. In fact, the large panels have cross bracing on the back so that it won't sag over time. And that's important if your paint application is very thick. Let's say you use very heavy applications of acrylic gel, you won't have to worry about the panel sagging in the middle under the weight. Ampersand is the only brand that I know of that uses premium birch plywood for the cradling. The other brands I've tried in the past have solid wood bracing along the back instead of plywood. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. This is a painting from years ago. And if you look at the back, this is kind of like a one by two and the grain is very coarse. This is more prone to warping. Plywood is a better choice. And that's because plywood is made up of multiple layers and the grain for each ply goes in the opposite directions. So that makes it much more stable. The second benefit of using a cradled panel is that it allows more creative options for the edges. And what I mean by that is you can extend the painting around the outside of the edge or paint it a solid color. So here's a few examples from the Ampersand website about how you can treat the edges of a wood panel. You can stain it or apply texture gel. Cold wax will give you more of a matte finish. And of course, you can use polyurethane or any other type of varnish. You can paint the edge a solid color or use furniture wax. I also like it when people get creative and they extend the image around the outside of the panel. So one of my favorite examples of an artist that makes creative use of the edges of a panel is Natalie Featherston. She paints Trump oil images and when you see them, it definitely fools your eye. Let's take a look at a couple of these and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here's an example of a magic eight ball that looks like it's in a cardboard box, but that edge is actually painted. That whole thing is a painting on a panel. Here's a video where you can see her painting the cardboard box effect. She starts off with like the basic corrugated light and shadow patterns and she adds more and more detail, including the lettering on the side of the box. Even that bubble wrap and the fluting inside of the cardboard, that's all hand painted. So there's a couple more. This is a message in a bottle. The entire front is painted. It's entirely flat. The side is painted. That's not at all cardboard. So this one's pretty cool. It looks like a box of cookies, but that's a flat painting and the edges of the panel are painted to look like cardboard. And it looks like frosting. I mean, it looks totally real to me. The tissue paper has all kinds of detail in it. And think about if you were to try this on like a canvas, the edges of the canvas have like creases in it, sometimes there's staples on the side and there's texture to it. But a cradled panel has a nice smooth surface and that allows for a lot of detail. So I typically don't paint the edges of my panels. I like to varnish them and that brings out the wood grain and makes it look more like a frame. And that leads me to the next benefit and that is framing is optional. Because they use premium quality wood, you can just stain it or varnish it with like a clear varnish. I used a water-based varnish in my last video about how to make your own canvas panels. That's the painting behind me. I made a canvas panel out of a two by three foot gesso board. And when the canvas was dry, I applied low VOC varnish to the edges of it. And it really brings out the grain of the wood and it starts to look like a frame. I think clients appreciate the fact that they can hang the painting up without having to frame it because framing is really expensive at that size. And it also looks good. You don't have like staples on the canvas on the side or anything that looks unappealing. So if you decide to go ahead and frame your panel, it's actually easier than framing a canvas. And that's because you can use a floater frame of the same depth and all you need is a screwdriver. Everything's included in the kit. All you have to do is drop it into the frame, center it, turn it over, and put some screws into it. It's super easy. Those are all the benefits to using a cradled panel. If you never tried them before, give it a shot and see what you think. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Up next, you can watch my video about how to make canvas panels or how to frame them. Thanks for watching.